Okay, so before we start this video today, guys, I just want to show you a couple things which are quite important, especially when it comes to the DS family systems. So if you own a 2DS XL, a new Nintendo 3DS, or a, a just regular 3DS XL 3DS, then it'll be absolutely fine. All you're going to have to do is just take the little compartment open just here. But if you own a new 3DS XL like we're using today, so like this one, this is my partner's one right here, uh, you do have to take the back off and you do need a quite small, you need like a small screwdriver just to get into there. Um, I have a set that I bought recently, which um, I don't think I'll be able to get into the frame, but uh, it has a load of tiny ones as well. If I can even get that into the shot. Yes, just there, there's a couple of them. But yeah, so what we're going to be doing is I'm going to show you all how to effectively homebrew the 3DS. So we're going to be using this one today. And another thing I would like to, I would like to just mention to you all real quick before we start this video as well is uh, you're doing this at your own risk. So you know if you aren't confident with the if you don't know what you're doing, then get a friend to use this tutorial, get someone to walk through this tutorial with you. Um, and I'm just basically you know make, keeping you all cautious of this is you're basically modding your 3ds. So you know this isn't um, officially by Nintendo at all. But yeah. Anyway, let's jump in. Okay, so I'm going to show you all how to actually start homebrewing the system now. So what we're going to want to do is go over to Safari, and you want to go into 3ds.hacks.guide. It will ask you to enter your system menu and everything. And all you want to do is you just want to get over to the screen where it starts giving you the tutorial. So we're doing the mset9 method. You don't necessarily need to um, do this if you're watching the tutorial, but I'll link everything in the description anyway. So what you're going to want to do, download mset9. And just want to go down here on the GitHub. You just want to go down to the bottom. You just want to download this. I've already downloaded it myself. It's very easy. And then also, um, another quick note on here. It will have the, uh, if I can find it, it has the Python version as well. So it wants you to install Python to your computer. Any uh, three point, anything after three point of Python, it will ask you to. Um, they want you to install that so it can run the patcher and everything. Okay, so now that's all done. You want to open up your 3DS. Um, you want to open up your Nintendo 3DS uh, SD card. Go over to MSET 9. You want to tickle these folders. You want to just smack them in here, just like so. It's only like a megabyte, so they're not very. Really, they're not that big. It's just a bunch of code. Okay, it's absolutely fine. Now, what you want to do, ideally, is you want to take the SD card out of the computer. So we're just going to close that down real quick. You want to take that out. You want to take it out of the adapter, and then you want to put it back. You want to inject that back into your Nintendo 3DS. Uh, if I can even get the SD card in. Not really a big fan of these new 3DS consoles, to be totally honest. A little bit nightmarish, in my personal opinion, but they're not too bad. So a lot of your, your icons will go off the home screen. That's totally normal. Now that's done. Uh, we want to close the system again. You want to take the SD card back out. You want to try and just acquire that again. So there we go. You want to grab your little adapter, you want to pop that back in. Some of you might have a PC with a micro SD slot, which is absolutely fine. So you can just pop that in as well. That does, that also works absolutely normally. Okay, the 3DS SD card is back in there now. So there might be a couple things. You might have to, um, you, there might be a thing that does say you have to um, go into settings and um, when you open the patcher and everything that you need to verify it all you want to do is go into security and privacy and there'll be a little option just down here that says to um to launch it and this will be after you've installed python as well so you want to go to mac os command it can't be identified that's fine that's exactly what i was talking about so you want to go into security and privacy in your system settings you might you might want to search it you want to go in there and you just want to click open anyway that's normal just like so and now it says to type your password Okay, cool, great, that's exactly what we wanted. So, for the 3DS version we're using, we're gonna wanna click new 3DS or 2DS. So we're gonna wanna click two. Okay, so next we're gonna wanna type one to create the mset 9 ID one, which is all good. Just wanna type that. Then let's say one again to confirm. And then it will just run all this code just here. It will take a couple of moments. Okay, it's created it, nice. Okay, so now what you wanna do is you wanna take the SD card back out you want to put the SD card back into the system. You want to slot it back in. You want to reopen the console and it will just say creating data. That's totally normal. And then what you want to do is you just want to open MeMaker. 
And there you go. It says creating extract data on the SD card. It'll open it up as normal. And then it basically just open, it opens up the um, welcome to me make screen in some cases, but um, in this case it, um, it didn't. So what you want to do is you want to launch system settings. So what you want to do here is you want to go to data management, Nintendo 3DS. And then what you want to do is you want to go to software. Okay, it's all reset. There's no accessible data on the card. And okay, it's absolutely fine. It won't wipe any of your data. Then you want to do, what you want to do is you want to power off the system. And usually it'll want you to power it off on your lower screen. So there you go. You turn that off now. Okay, it's absolutely, that's all done. That's absolutely fine. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to take the SD card just out of the system. And we're, we're going to want to close this as well. Because that's, absolutely, that's all good, just there. And then we're just going to pop that in. Back to the, into the computer. And then we're going to want to run that MSET9 script again. So we're going to want to go to 3DS. And that will open up. Put your password in. Okay, click for your system version. And then you want to check the MSET9 status. So I'm just going to do that real quick. Um, me pick, okay, it all exists. That's absolutely fine. So we've done that. We've just checked it. We, that's just to check that all the data is, it exists on the SD card. So you're going to want to take that out and then pop that back in. And that, this should all come up as normal. And then what you want to do next is you want to click two when we get to that next bit. So you want to just do your password again. You want to click two as well, whatever your system version is. So yeah, that's all working absolutely fine. That's all. So yeah, like, like we've already said, that's already functioning. And you know, I'm pretty happy with um, everything we've done so far. So what you want to do is you want to open up the SD card again. We'll take that back out. Turn the system back on. Okay, so we want to go back into system settings. We want to go to data, Nintendo 3DS. Hey, uh, you want to go into extra data. So we've got Me Maker just here. Um, don't press any buttons on the screen. Just a quick thing. Don't press any buttons. Um, we want to remove the SD card again that got stuck to my hand. So you want to remove that. Just out of the console. So look, these uh, new 3DSs are a bit fidgety. I've noticed as well. They're a bit kind of. Uh, they've made it a little bit irritating to get into everything. So yeah, that's absolutely fine. You want to pop that back in into the computer. Should terminate this window, it's not really necessary that we stay in there anymore. Um, and then we're going to open up the macOS command again, type our password, new version, and this time we want to click three to inject the trigger file. Okay, so it's injected the trigger file now, that's all done. Sweet. That's all we wanted. Right now, what we're going to do is we're going to close the MSET9 script, take out the SD card, and we're going to put it back in our 3DS. A lot of tutorials don't show you the specifics. And if there's anything you guys want to know, feel free to ask. Okay, there we go. Custom firmware. It's installed. Or it's uh, we have to verify the files. So that's all done. So that's just going to install that real quick. Okay, press A to continue. Okay, so we have Luma 3DS installed now, which is exactly what we wanted. Um, basically, this is just a, there's a few little options here. So it shows GBA boot screen. It's just a few little uh, Luma 3DS options just over here. So what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna save and exit. Okay, so now we've done that. We want to remove the 3DS. Uh, we want to remove the SD card from our 3DS. We want to put it back into our computer again. So you want to make sure it's unlocked or not right protected. 
you want to go back in here, you want to go into 3DS, and then you want to run that script again. You're going to have to run this script a few times. The The, the problem is with this, uh, these guides, okay, can't open device, it's probably just, um, probably just, there you go. So the problem is with this laptop is it gets a little bit stuck and it can, um, it can get a little bit irritating, but that's absolutely fine. So you want to open 3DS, you want to go into macOS command, and then you just want to type your password in again, system version, and this time we want to tap 4, we want to remove the trigger file. Trigger file's been removed, great. And what we have to do is press 5 as well to remove mset9, then it's just deleting all that stuff. Okay, all done, sweet, that's exactly what we wanted. Okay, so we're in the final part of the tutorial now. You've got 3DS in the, the PC still. You want to go over to the guide and you want to download these two files just here on the finalized section. What you want to do is you want to go over to the 3DS and then you want to put the finalized.romfs on the root. And then you go into the Luma folder. There should be a payloads folder. If not, just create one. And then put the xfinalizedhelper.firm in there. So those are in there now. That's absolutely fine. What you want to do, you want to take the, the SD card out of the computer and you want to pop it just back in the 3DS. So we're just going to put it just in there. So that's back in the system now. You want to open up system settings. I'm going to go to other settings and then we're going to go all the way over to system update. And it will just be updating. So this is just going to upload uh, B9S and Luma. So what you want to do here is uh, we're back on the system menu now. You want to hold the L shoulder button, the left shoulder button. You want to press down on the D-pad and select at the same time. So we want to go this combo. And here you go. So you'll have this little Rosalina menu just here. So what you want to do is select miscellaneous options. You want to go to dump DSP firmware and it'll say that it's successfully written to the SD card. So just press B to continue. And then you want to go to nullify user time offset. Uh, please reboot to finalize changes. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to reboot the system quick. We're going to exit, exit this menu. So we're just going to reboot to finalize the changes real quick. And here we go. So we're going to hold X whilst launching our system. And there you go. This will start in Sonic God, uh, God Mode 9. So there's, there's a lot to take in this video. Essential uh, backup files are found to create them now. Yes. Backup embedded. Um, written out to. Perfect. And here we go. So this is God Mode 9. So this is really... Um, this is probably one of the most important features on the actual 3DS. So uh, what we're going to do is go to System SD card. And then... We got our 3ds folder we've got there's a lot to take in here so there's a lot to um actually look into okay but for this next bit though what you want to do is you want to press the home button you want to set up you want to go to scripts and then you want to just click a finalize now this is where it should install everything so you're okay with this yeah it will just create a now backup and everything that's good uh so now yeah uh so you have to do these little um commands to verify everything and it will basically just install everything to the 3ds like homebrew and all that stuff this just installs basically everything it's really handy might take a few moments though so just give it a little bit of time okay so just up here it just said setup complete all you need to do now is you literally just need to press a and then it will just power off your system and we're going to turn it back on and here we go so we've got all our new software on the home menu so this does take a minute. So we've got Ana, uh, you've got Anamone, which is for the 3DS themes. You've got this channel. I don't know what this actually does. I haven't used this before, but you've got the Homebrew Launcher, which is, um, you know, if you, all your, you get access on your Homebrew apps, FTPD, uh, Universal Updater. This is really handy as well. And uh, FBI as well. So this is, this is already good. You've got all this installed now. This is literally all you need as well. So this is... Um, what you need to basically just start hacking and modding your system however you want to 
Um, you might want to get some CIAs on your SD card as well because you can get things like the hate shop. I do have a video linked where you can get like the hate shop and you can get uh, pretendo, etc. But you can mostly access all this through the universal data. So I'm going to show you this real quick. A couple of these applications I haven't actually used before, but I mostly stick to the ones I know. So it was just downloading all the data. And then this will just take a moment. But this is a new system, so it usually takes a second to load everything up. Loading sprite sheet, exactly what we wanted. And yes, this is where you have a lot of options. So we just search hate shop just here. Nothing comes up. This is really strange. A lot of these um, things have very specific names, I noticed as well. And I just always thought that was quite odd. So you go through here, you've got a lot of different applications you can install. You have like a web browser and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm going to let you guys figure all this out on your own now because it's quite simple past this point. But anyway, thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe as I will be doing a few more tutorials throughout the years on the 3DS and all the updates coming out for the, uh, for the modding scene. But yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.